वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ए ब्राइनेरी ऑफ सेवेल गुड इवनिंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू टीच द टेंथ असाइनमेंट ऑफ फाउंडेशन इंजीनियरिंग सो ए रिटेनिंग वॉल सपोर्ट्स ए ड्राई टू लेयर्ड क्वेश्चनलेस बैकफिल अंडर एक्टिव एयर प्रेशर कंडीशंस द पाई वैल्यू ऑफ टॉप लेयर इज हायर देन बॉटम लेयर दैट इज पाई 1 and it is pi 2 so pi 1 greater than pi 2 so this data he has given so which of the following earth pressure distribution diagram would be most appropriate for the present condition okay for example we know he has given pi 1 greater than pi 2 so when the value of pi decreased the coefficient of earth pressure will value increases that is ka1 less than ka2 so The coefficient of earth pressure for layer two is more. So in that case, the pressure distribution diagram. This is for layer one, Ka one gamma one H one. So Ka one is less than Ka two. So whenever we change it from top layer to bottom layer, this value is from here to here. Ka two gamma two H two. As Ka two is greater than, this will go move further. So it will move as same amount as surcharge. So one layer weight is acted upon by another layer as a surcharge. That is Ka2 gamma2 and H2. Coming to second layer, it will be like this. So this is Ka2 gamma2 and H2. So this is gamma1 H1. This is gamma1 and H1. Okay, this is the diagram. So for this question, option B will become the correct answer. Coming to next question, a 12 meter high retaining wall supports a two-layered backfill. Properties given below. The water table is 5 meters below the ground surface. Find out the depth of tension cracks. So generally, two-layered soil. This is two-layered soil. So this is one layer. This is another layer. Generally, the distribution diagram is something like this. Like this. So, if you solve this depth is depth of tension cracks is Z C is equal to two C by gamma root K G. So, two here C is equal to thirty. Half of Q is nothing but it is C. So, two into thirty divided by gamma is seventeen point three into point five eight nine. So, under root. So, you will get it is four point five two meters. So the depth of tension cracks is 4.52. Option A for question number two. In the diagram, so you can say here it is. This is up until this is layer two. Up to here it is layer two. Okay. So now you can say this. This is 2c root k j one. So Two into thirty into point five eight nine. So you will get this entire value is forty six point zero four. Okay, and here this value is K A one gamma H one minus two C root K A one. So this value will be. 0.589 into 17.3 into 5 minus 2 into C is 30.589 under root. So this will be 4.9085. And here the bottom value is 4.980. This will continue as 4.9085. And this will be Ka2 gamma2 H2. So it will be 0.406 into 18 into 7. This total value is. Fifty eight point four six four. Okay, so coming to third question of the assignment, you can say here the same diagram. This data is related. So total active earth pressure is equal to total active earth pressure. Total active earth pressure is equal to so area of the diagram after formation of tension cracks half into point four eight into this is the data from earlier diagram. So four point nine zero eight five into eight plus half into 
51.156 so around you will get it is 250 kN so option B for question number 3 and where it is acting in the next question the data he has asked that is y bar is equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 so actually I have divided entire diagram into three components so for that I need to calculate centroid of the diagram so first of all a1 is equal to half into 0.48 into 4.9085 this is a1 and a2 is equal to 8 into 4.9085 a3 is equal to half into 58.464 into 8 and x1 bar so y1 bar is equal to 8 plus 0.48 divided by 3 y2 bar is equal to 8 by 2 it is a rectangular portion and y3 bar is equal to 8 by 3 so if you will calculate this you will get it is 2.8 8 approximately so the answer b for question number 4 and question number 5 and 6 are very lengthy questions i am not solving here but i get the answer for question number 5 it is a and for question number 6 it is around 1.5 so this is option c will be the answer for question number 6 coming to question number 7 so it is also like a theory question the stability of gravity retaining wall gravity retaining wall stability can be taken by the weight of the retaining wall that is weight of the retaining wall will be will provide stability of a gravity retaining wall okay so answer a for question number 7 Coming to question number 8 of the assignment, according to Rankin's theory, Rankin's surface pressure theory. So, Rankin's earth pressure theory. So, wall friction symbol is, wall friction is equal to delta and phi is angle of internal friction. Angle of internal friction. So the relationship between delta and phi taken by Rankin is delta is equal to half to two third phi. Okay. So that is delta is only half to two third. So delta is less than phi. So option D for question number 8. Coming to question number 9 of the assignment, a retaining wall, for example, this retaining wall has been provided like this. So, this is something like buttress. So, this buttress is provided, supports on the opposite side of the vacuum. Okay. So, option A for question number 9. Coming to last question of the assignment, the minimum factor of safety again is to overturning for a gravity retaining wall. So, coming to gravity retaining wall. So, the minimum factor of safety. So, that is to be considered is 1.5. Option B for question number 10. Thank you.